Hello. Previously, I've been showing you how to experiment with CPU instructions using 32-bit OLED DBG. And now let's try X64 DBG. You can get it from x64dbg.com. So let's download it from there. Let's take the latest snapshot. Open it as usual. And extract it somewhere. There is a 32-bit and 64-bit debugger here, but since we've, uh, we have been using only DBG for 32-bit programs, let's now try the 64-bit one. And the first time you run it, you should uh, go to the options and set it as just-in-time debugger. And you need to run the debugger as administrative account in order to be able to do this. As you can see I have no administrative privileges right now so I cannot set this option. But I have previously set up another copy of this debugger as JIT. Therefore I have this set up already anyway. And now I can show you how this works. So let's create a PE program in 64-bit version with a breakpoint and perhaps a simple instruction. Execute it uh, with F9 and X64DBG works as JIT on my machine. However, as you can see, this is not our code. We need to run the uh, debugger a bit further so that it can get to this place. We could do that with F9 key. And we also have F7 and F8 as step into and step over just like in OLEDBG. However, you can notice that unlike in OLEDBG, we cannot now uh, step out of this breakpoint instruction. It keeps getting executed. So to skip this breakpoint, uh, we can use this advanced option to skip next instruction. Or another option is to use a space key just like in OLEDBG to assemble instruction in this place and replace this breakpoint with no operation. And now we can step over and again this instruction has been executed, setting up the RAX uh, register. And this should all feel very familiar if you've been using all the DBG before. We can also call some subroutine. And now F8 is going to step over this call. Oh, but we need to get rid of this breakpoint first. So first uh, F8 to step over the first call and F7 to enter the second one. And we are now inside the function. 
and finish the function. This is just the basics, but if you've been using OliDBG before, then this should be just as easy. Thank you for watching.